Infanta, officially the municipality of Infanta, Tagalog, Bayan ng Infanta, is a first-class municipality in the province of Quezon, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 69,079 people, it has a land area of 130.1 square kilometers, representing 1.5% of the area of Quezon. It is located 144 kilometers 89 miles northeast of Manila and 136 kilometers 85 miles north of Lucena City. It is accessible to Metro Manila through the Marikina Infanta Highway. Infanta is the largest Lambanog manufacturer in the province of Quezon. The town is also known for its Bayugo, giant mountain snail dishes. The town is currently undergoing preparations for establishing a Bayugo breeding center that would supply Bayugo to townsfolk. The move is intended to stop the decline of Bayugo in the wild. Also it is the center of economic activity in the northern part of Quezon. The Infanta Town Fiesta is celebrated every April 25. Infanta is also known as the Gateway to the Pacific. History According to the legend, the people who established the first settlement in the land that became Infanta were led by an elderly leader named Nunong Karugtong. These settlers crossed the Sierra Madre Mountains from somewhere in what is now Rizal Province in search of better living conditions. After examining multiple sites, they eventually settled on a site near the Bantalan River, where the discovery of a huge yam root convinced them that the site was ideal for settlement. This eventually became the site of the settlement which European colonizers would call Binangonan de Lampon, which in turn would eventually become the municipality of Infanta. In 1578, more than half a century after Ferdinand Magellan and his men landed in Cebu and 13 years after Miguel López de Legazpi founded the first Spanish settlement also in Cebu, a Spanish priest named Esteban Ortiz arrived in Binangonan de Lampon and planted a wooden cross symbolizing the introduction of Spanish colonial rule at the place. In 1696, Don Diego Mangalea, a native chieftain developed the settlement into a community and built a wooden chapel at the spot where Nunong Karugtong fell asleep. Since its establishment, the area has been attacked by Moro pirates, and visited by typhoons and cholera epidemics as recent as 2004. In 1803, Captain Pedro de Leon affiliated Binangonan de Lampon to the province of Nueva Ecija and in 1850, Captain Rafael Orozco withdrew Infanta from the province of Nueva Ecija and joined it with the province of Laguna to the west. In 1835, Binangonan de Lampon was renamed Infanta by Captain Juan Salvador in honor of the saint Jesus Infante. Child Jesus. All the inhabitants of Infanta were given Spanish surnames pursuant to a royal decree of the 11th of November 1848. On July 20, 1898 a group of Infanta Katipuneros headed by Colonel Pablo Estilla attacked the Spanish forces holed up at the Limestone Convent and after several days of siege and fighting, the Spanish soldiers surrendered. By virtue of the 10 December 1898 Paris Treaty of Peace, American soldiers occupied the town of Infanta and appointed Captain Carlos Ruidera Azcaraga as the first town presidente. He was followed by Rufino Ortiz in 1903 who withdrew Infanta from the province of Laguna and joined it with the province of Tayabas. He also ordered the planting of coconut trees in the barrios now barangays, of Infanta. During the administration of town, Presidente Gregorio Rutacchio (1911–1916). He constructed the gabaldon type of schoolhouse. From 1923 to 1928, Don Florencio Potas became town presidente. He constructed the concrete municipal building and the first telegraph office of the town. From 1935 to 1939, Mr. Fabian Saleza served as town presidente. During his incumbency, the Infanta Fami Road traversing the Sierra Madre from Infanta to Laguna and Rizal provinces was constructed. Also, piped water from a spring reservoir in Barrio, Barangay Gumian was installed. In December, 1941 the Japanese Imperial Forces was occupied in the town of Infanta. On May 25, 1945, the liberation by combined Filipino and American soldiers entered in the town was supported by the guerrilla fighters fought the Japanese Imperial forces until the end of World War II. 
In 1950, the municipality was made the seat of the Roman Catholic territorial prelature of Infanta. Barangays Infanta is politically subdivided into 36 barangays, 7 urban and 29 rural. Urban Poblacion 1 Poblacion 38 Poblacion 39 Poblacion Bantalan Coman Ingas Dinahican Rural Climate Demographics Education Infanta is the center of educative learning, with four colleges that attract many students to study from nearby towns of Real, General Nakar, Palillo, Panaculan, Berdios, Patnanungan and Jomalik. Here are the colleges in Infanta. Northern Quezon College Southern Luzon State University Infanta Campus Rizal Marine Technological College Axe Computer College Secondary Schools Infanta National High School, largest public high school in Infanta Mount Carmel School of Infanta, largest and only Catholic school in Infanta Binilasan Integrated High School Tongoan National High School Longas National High School Little Friends of Jesus Cornerstone Academy of Infanta Towns Hymn The hymn of the town of Infanta is entitled, Mabuhay Ka Infanta, written by the alumni of Mount Carmel School of Infanta. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Metro Infanta Foundation